so now we're going to move on to textiles and the related issues. As you guys probably all, or most of you know, textiles are basically prefabricated settings for text that can be consistently used in an automated manner. They're very useful for organizing text standards within an organization and just a powerful tool in working with text in MicroStation. A lot of times we get users reach out to us saying they don't see the correct style definition listed in their text editor dialog, or maybe some of their text isn't displaying correctly. I'd say in most cases it's caused by a configuration issue with the msdgn lib list config variable or the specific variable msdgn lib list text styles. These, these variables work by pointing to the text style dgn lib files that they're configured in. Just a reminder that it's best practice to create textiles in the DGN lib file and then use these config variables to point where that DGN lib is located. Kind of want to avoid creating a bunch of textiles in one DGN file. It's not read by the organization. Just like with fonts, you want to avoid duplicate names. It's always good practice when you're working with these standards. And just like we showed you previously, the debug log is a great tool when troubleshooting these variables. Another thing that's overlooked and we get a few questions about are the textile icons next to each textile in the dialog. This can be a little tricky to navigate, but once you study a little bit, it's easier to understand. There are four different icons you can see in the textiles dialog. The first icon is the gray book. So what that means, if it's, if it's next to your textiles, it means it's a library style, so it's in your DGN lib, but it's not copied locally into the active design file. So it means it exists, but it's not in use in the active design. You can activate it and bring it in, but that's what that means. Now the blue book, uh, the local style, that means that the text style is in the active design file. So that means it's just that file specific text style. It's not going to be in other DGN files. The blue book with the green check mark means that it's in the design file, in the active design file, but it still matches what's in the DGN lib. So most of the time when you're working with DGN lib textiles, you want to make sure that green check mark is next to it if it's in your design file, just to make sure they're synchronized with the standards. And then the last one, I'd say that causes a few issues, just a little bit of confusion, is the blue book with the blue delta symbol. This means that the text style is copied locally into the active design file, but it doesn't match the DGN lib standards. So that means it's out of sync. So we might, we might get a few questions asking, why aren't my text styles lining up to the DGN lib? Well, we set it up in the DGN lib, it's, but it's, it's this way in the design file. So the way to do that would be to update it from the library. And you can use this key in DGN lib update textiles to ensure that everything's synced up in your active design file from that, from the standards there. And you can also right click the textile and update it. There's a few ways to do it in the GUI. Another great tool on working with textiles is the, are the modes in the advanced section of the dialog. You can use this for troubleshooting textiles if you don't want to open each DGN lib manually or open a bunch of design files and check the textile standard. You can use this to compare and differentiate any, any different properties when you're working with the textiles. The edit mode is just lets you edit the different properties of the textile in one place. The comparison mode lets you choose two text styles and then compare them side by side at the same time. And then the differences mode lets you choose two text styles at once. And then only the differences in the properties of the text styles will be displayed. So you can see the differences mode is shown. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.